Welcome back to the 30 and 30. That's 30 vlogs in 30 days right here on Our Wyoming Life. My name is Mike, and today we are continuing from yesterday where we pretty much got all of our, well, we did. We got all of our prep work done, ready for concrete. Um, today on the ranch, we're actually mixing all of that concrete. See those mixers back there? Those are gonna help us out. Uh, first, let's go out and take a look outside and see what we're working with. While we go outside, you can start mixing if you want to. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. <laughs> All right, a little bit of a breeze today. Uh, I'm wearing my ball cap because I really don't want to ruin my cowboy hat with concrete, and there's always a chance that concrete's gonna be flying around everywhere. And along with flying around everywhere, there's dust in the air. So uh, we're doing this a little bit differently today than we would if we were normally mixing concrete, where we'd probably just do it on site. Um, today, we're actually mixing inside the sail barn getting all of our concrete mixed together and then bringing it out and dumping it into our form. This is our form. It's a four by four by 12 uh, slab of concrete that we're pouring today. And we're doing that because we're gonna be putting a chute on top of it, a squeeze chute, along with some load bars to make a scale. So I'm gonna show you how that works. And uh, yeah, and we'll get to work. We're gonna get into the heavy work like Jeff is doing. But first I wanted to bring you back here and actually show you uh, what we're doing. Now we're putting load bars underneath the squeeze chute and this is what a load bar is. It's basically a big chunk of metal and underneath each one of these feet is a load sensor that's going to actually keep track of our weight for us. Now there's two of these going on each uh, on each squeeze chute. So we're going to we actually have eight of these or four of these two for each squeeze chute ready to go because we're actually doing this over on the feedlot side as well just not quite yet because we're waiting for a bulldozer to get here and then we can get going on that. So Jeff and I are gonna start mixing concrete. And like I said, we're gonna be using these mixers and we're able to mix a few bags at a time. But because of math, we know that we have 24 bags of concrete to mix to do this. We could have got a concrete truck out here, but it actually would have cost twice as much, if not more. So we're gonna try it this way see how it works we're going to mix all of our concrete together by the way that sound is actually jeff's phone when he gets text messages uh it was in yesterday's video a few times too uh so, and i'm sure i'm gonna somebody's gonna be like what was that what's that sound um that's that's how unicorns fart didn't you know that uh, so anyway uh we are going to be dumping this all into the uh, into the bucket and then taking it out and we're going to show you how we finish concrete around here or at least we try to i'm not a concrete master jeff are you a concrete not at pro all. no but we, jo we know just enough to, first of all, get it done. Second of all, not hurt anybody, which is really the name of the game. So as long as nobody falls in the concrete, we're good to go. Jeff, what are you doing? Besides turn messing around with your phone. Turn my phone down so there's no interruptions. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't, I wasn't messing with you. I was just, when I was editing last night, I was like, what, what is, is that sound? All right. So we are mixing Portland cement, uh, which is just commercial grade quickcrete. These bags cost about uh, three bucks a piece or something like that. So not horribly expensive. And this is Jeff's dad's concrete mixer, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, all the way from California. Right, it's a Californian concrete mixer, which means it only turns to the left. <laughs> yeah. You did it? I did, no, yeah. Like the toilet? I get sure. It. Okay. Hemisphere thing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, left. Ah, there we wow. go. Wow. That took a long time. Wow. Hopefully we get this job done faster than Jeff got that joke because otherwise we're going to be here for days. All right. Let's get to work, man. God, that was hard. <laughs> I was waiting. Come on, Jeff. It's a hemisphere thing. Right. It's a hemisphere. Does your, do your toilets go backwards in California? No, but in the northern hemisphere, they do. Oh, that was funny. 
The directions say you're supposed to use three quarts of water per bag, which really doesn't, what is, what is happening here? You've got a, you got a like, sprinkler, sprinkler going on. Is there, is there a washer in there? Yeah, but it's hard. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Switch. This big thing here. So anyway, uh, three quarts of water per bag. We're really not measuring that out. We're gonna actually make it a little bit more of a wet concrete because we have to mix all this together before we take it out. Plus the wind is blowing like 100 miles an hour. There's dust flying everywhere. We wanna make sure that we have plenty of time to work with this stuff. You want me to get you a different nozzle? You want a different nozzle? is a whole lot of concrete. Uh, we've got about 2,000 pounds of concrete, add in water, I'm guessing about 2,500 pounds or so. And now it's time to move it over to our form, which isn't that far, what, 50 feet, 60 feet, something like that. Mm. Not too bad. We're gonna move it over there and slowly get it dumped in. So Jeff, do you wanna hold the camera for me? So don't drop it in the concrete. <laughs> Oops. Oops. A little dusty. How did I get so dirty? You're like clean. You were here doing all the work. I didn't do all the work, you did.
Okay, I went by the math, which said that we were at 24 bags. We might not have mixed enough. We might have to run back and mix some more really fast. But Jeff's gonna pour in the rest of this, and then we'll see where we're at. Almost done. We got almost enough concrete. Jeff's mixing up a few more bags. We're gonna bring that in, level it off, and then finish it up. We got it pretty well smoothed out. I'm gonna let it set up for a little while and we'll come back and do the finished troweling on it, do the edges and stuff like that. And then it'll be uh, 24 to 48 hours before we can put something on it, depending on how fast it cures. And that's, uh, I really don't know, question. So we're gonna clean up really quick. And then uh, I guess we better go check cows. It's been a while since we've done that. But before we get out and check the cows, I actually got summoned to our garage. Erin just picked up the kids from school. She says she has a little surprise for us. Let's go check it out. All right, you said you have a, you said you have a surprise. Don't be mad. D me, don't be mad? I did a thing. <laughs> yeah. Did you get a go? <laughs> I got a Wait a minute, you went to pick up the kids from school. And I had to get milk replacer. You had to get milk replacer. That's uh, What did you do? Uh, nothing. So. All right. Um, do I get the guess? Don't be mad. I heard Grace giggling. <laughs> Should we just pull off the Band-Aid? Yeah. I could, I'll just say it. I got a pig. We have pigs. No, this is a pet pig. We have a pet pig? That's going to live in our laundry room. We have a laundry room pig. Uh-huh. And it's a baby, too. You ready? Open the door. Aww. That's a pretty pig you got. You guys are funny. <laughs> Hi, Lincoln. So I got pig. Her name's Patricia. It's for in front of the farm store. Do you want to go put it in front of the farm store? Yeah, that's her what I got there for. Her okay. name's Patricia. Patricia? Patricia. You can go put them in front of the farm Wait, store. Okay. Hey. So. I don't hear. <laughs> Hi, Lincoln. Hi. How was school? Good. I made concrete. I'm very dirty. You are very dirty. Okay, I got milk replacer. Oh, cool. I'll get it to the shop at some we point. We should have actually got a pig though. <laughs> we did. Yeah. We got a pig. Did you think you were getting a real pig? No. Grace picked it out. Grace is like, we should get that pig. So we did. All right. Big question is, the goat that I got cost us nothing. The pretend pet pig. Cost us nothing. We have to feed that goat every day. Mine's a one and done. <laughs> True. Okay. I don't know how much it cost. The price tag was not on there, and I didn't look at the receipt. We're, we're just oh, gonna... wow. Must be nice to live in that tax bracket. We're just going to compare Yoda and the pig now, and like... I love a monster, and I'm just like, okay, I did a thing. <laughs> like, you did. All right, I... you guys go play in your tax bracket. <laughs> I'm going to go... I'm going to go check cows. I guarantee, my pig is cheaper than your goat. Can I come with you to check cows? You want to come with me and check cows? Okay. You want to come with check cows? No. Do you? Yes? No? Maybe? Who wants to go check cows? Kenzie? Hey, 
Do you want to check cows with me later? I'll just me and you. Yeah. Okay. So just me and Kenzie today. All right. We're going to talk about the storm that's just around the bend. You ready? Yay. Okay. You guys had me going. Almost as bad as when you said the toilet was smoking. <laughs> oh. Okay. Do her fast. I remember the smoking toilet prank. Grace changed her mind. We were talking about the smoking toilet prank. Remember that, Grace? Yeah. yeah. Put a photo on screen of what I did. Okay, here's a photo of what Mackenzie did. <laughs> Editing magic. Alrighty, guys. How was school? Okay. okay. What can you tell us about our new calf check? This? Yeah. Tell me about it. What do you see? 17 heifer. Number 77 header calf? Number 77 header calf. How many calves do we have out there? And we have 17. Nope. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't know. 16. 16 calves. How many bulls and how many heifers? Seven, Seven bulls. Hey, I'm going to say it. Seven bulls and how many heifers, Grace? Um, 10. Nope. Try again. Nine. Nine. Nine heifers. So, how, what do we have more of? Heifers or bulls? Bulls. So we have seven bulls and nine heifers. Oh, Which heifers. number is bigger? <laughs> I thought I was looking at the ten. <laughs> All right. We're going to work on math skills tonight, I guess. I was looking at the ten. No, nope, math the... skill night. No, I was looking math at homework. the ten. I We're going to do got, math homework. I just got done with a language test that stressed me out. Oh, my gosh. You're in fifth grade. How stressed out can you be? I am very stressed out. Grace, are you a stressed out third grader? No. No. Exactly. Just only when I'm testing. <laughs> So we're heading out to check cows. We are looking for our newest calf, which is number 17. That's the one we want to take a look at, make sure it's okay, right? Okay. All right. So what's the mom's number of the new one? 77. So it's easiest to find the mom or the calf? Uh, mama. Mama, all right. So there's number 39, and there's a calf up there, and there's a bunch of calves over there. Here's a bunch of calves here. Is it 39 or 21? No. All right, but I don't see our new one in this group. She's black. jumped up. Alright. They're just sleeping. I was worried they had his eyes rolled back to you and I'm just this dead. Yeah, they like to they like to scare you. Alright. So we're up here, we're gonna get on top of this little hill. Okay. See if we can find is my face all dirty? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, I feel like my face is all dirty. I feel like my face is all dirty. Yeah, pouring concrete, so alright. Oh, I think I see I think I know where she's at. Okay. So I think she's, see that car, that cow that's far out there? Yeah. The farthest one, see the little black dot? No, yeah. you guys might not be able to I see it. I can right see it. right there. I, can see I think it. that's her because when her mom. Cows have their babies, they stay farther away from the herd until they feel comfortable bringing their baby into the herd. Right, but do all cows do that? No. No, some do and some don't. Some are just like, here, don't, don't be friends with the other one. Like, no, you are not hurting my baby. All right, let's get out there. We're gonna find number 17. Then we're gonna talk about our weather over the next few days. He looks like 17. Is it, he, it's 17. There's the baby. Hi, hey, Mom. So she looks good and safe. So what's our next calf number, Kenzie? Number 18. Gosh, bless you. Oh, I thought you were talking about like the next calf I was born. I was about to say like 16. That's the number 18. But we do have some weather on the way, which could mean that our calves could be in a little bit of trouble, and so could we. Uh, over How the could we? well, because we we're going to be outside and it's going to be cold and snowy. We have a house. Bambi Bambi has we have a house, but I can't stand the house. If Bambi has her calf during that terrible weather. What's gonna happen? Calf warmer. 
staff former probably. Uh, okay, so on the way, uh, starting tomorrow, uh, about four o'clock, it's supposed to start raining. For a.m. or p.m.? P.m. Okay, it's supposed to start raining. Which is what we need. We need rain. Then it's supposed to start snowing. And here's the thing. During our last snowstorm, or the one that we were supposed to get like a foot of snow out of, they kept on backing it off. Like originally it was a foot of snow, and then it was nine inches, and then it was four inches. This one keeps going up. Why? Originally they said we were gonna get five or six inches of snow. Then it, it was 10 inches. Then it was 12. This morning it was 15. Now it's, it's increased to 18. 16 inches of snow. I've heard 18. You've heard 18? I've heard 18. From lots mom. and lots of snow. 18 inches of snow. If mom said it, it's right. 18 inches of snow on the way, starting on Friday, heading into Saturday. That's a big dump really quick, which means that we're going to be bringing all the calves in. We're going to be taking care of everybody extra hard. So, like, might, that, might as well just have one person in, in the field at all times. Might as well. Will the mother seven? 17 need to move with the herd? Yes, we will have to make sure that she comes in with everybody else, which means we might have to go pick her up tomorrow. So that's what tomorrow is all about. Um, we're going to take probably a quick look at our, our foundation, our slab, our foundation, our slab that we poured. We're going to take a look at that tomorrow, see how it looks. I doubt, I, th I wanted to maybe get the chute set on it. I don't think so. I think we're going to let it cure for a few days, probably through the storm. Then we'll get the chute set up because we don't have time to be messing around with it. What? Um, how does the weather people know if it's going to snow or not? Satellite. How do the weather people know if it's going to snow or not? That is a darn good Isn't question. there's satellites in space? There's satellites that see the weather and the, and the clouds. Yeah. And I'm guessing they can measure the density of the clouds. I really don't know. That's a great question. You should ask your teacher. I bet you she'd know. Also, why are you pouring, pouring concrete for? We're pouring concrete for the chute. So what we can have scales. What chute? The what are cattle chute. Oh, the squeeze chute? Yeah, the arrow clip? The arrow clip, yep. Exactly. Alrighty, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to hang things up for today. Uh, big storm, like I said, on the way. Tomorrow is going to be a prep day, and we've really got to get ready for this storm. Wait. So we're going to show you how we prepare for a storm with the cows, with the calves, with the equipment, Give and with ourselves, and make sure that everything is good to go. Again. Well, Mom, need to make, like, a supplies box or stuff in it, or Maybe. a safety kit. <laughs> Maybe we can get Mom to make some uh, spaghetti mm. or some chili, something, hot some hot chocolate. Good idea. Mm. Alrighty guys, we will see you later. Um, until then, make sure you subscribe, follow along with us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. So have a great night and uh, we'll see you next time right here. You guys ready? Hey, yeah. get over here. She's you ready? Me. You ready? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we'll see you right here on oh, our okay. Wyoming, Wyoming life. life. Good job guys. <laughs> that was what is that? Fist bump? Fist bump? Yeah. Fist bump? Fist bump, Grace? Yeah.